In this problem, I'll, I'm asked to solve this equation here. I need to definitely find the exact solution and, if necessary, a dec decimal approximation. So let's look at my equation. What type of equation is it? Notice my variable is up in the exponent, so it's an exponential equation. What is the simplest type of exponential equation? It's one where we can write that both sides with the same base. What I mean by that is if we can write our equation as a raised to the v equals a raised to the u, the only way that's possible is if my two exponents are equal. So is there any way to do that on this equation? Well, my base on the left-hand side is 2. Is there any way to write 1 8 as 2 raised to a number? Yes, I think that's very possible. So 2 raised to the 5x plus 3 equals 1 over, now remember 8 is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2 is 8, so it's 2 cubed. So now I'm nearly there. I've got my 2 cubed, but it's in the denominator. And remember the rule of negative exponents that says if I have a raised to the negative n, that's 1 over a raised to the positive n. Well, in this case, I have this side here. So to move it into the numerator, what do I do with the exponent? I take the opposite. So my right-hand side is going to become 2 raised to the negative third power. My left-hand side stays the same. Now, does this look like this? I have the same base on both sides. So I can then use the one-to-one -one property. So that's going to say, in this case, this is only true if my two exponents are equal. So we set the two exponents equal. And now look at this equation. Boy, this is a simple linear equation. How do we solve linear equations? We want to get the x's on one side. Well, I've done that. I need to get the numbers on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 3, three from both sides. So negative 3 added to a negative 3 is negative 6. How do I isolate the x? Divide by 5. So what is x? x is negative 6 fifths. So that is my exact solution. And since that is a short terminating decimal, I don't need to get an approximate solution. And last thing, for exponential equations, do we have to check for extraneous solutions? No.